Hello everyone, and welcome back to my daily Pokemon card live stream. We just finished playing Monster Hunter World together, a lot of you, and now I have this hobby where I open up Pokemon cards and go broke. No, I'm just kidding. The cards are actually really fun. They can actually be quite serious investments, and sometimes you can pull a nice card and flip it by selling it on eBay. So it's actually something I get great enjoyment out of, and some of you might enjoy collecting like I do. Collecting, I, I was reading all these uh, articles about the psychology of collecting and it just seems to be this thing we do kind of like eating and sleeping and finding a partner and I guess there's all these it, it was really interesting there's all these theories as to why we collect and one of them people believe we collect because not only is it novel not only is it kind of like hunting but it's also kind of like gathering you know like gathering food and stockpiling food for winter so it's, it's very interesting humans collect things and Pokemon card collecting is a lot of fun and it's Something I did when I was a child, so that's why I'm doing it today. How is it going, everyone? How's it going, Mary Alice? Metalax says, What are the prices for the Dragonites? One of the Dragonites is already gone. It belongs to... Did I put in the right one? Yeah. One of the cards are... One of the Dragonites are already gone. It went to... Cheese. Right. Although, Cheese was mentioning he would trade with me for it, but I think that he should wait until Cosmic Eclipse shows up. Here it is. Here's Cheese. Yeah, so he got the Unified Minds one. There's this Dragon Man... Ma uh, I can't speak. Dragon Majesty promo. And if you were to look up the cheapest buy it now price for this card on eBay, I would probably match it if you're interested in buying that. Uh, but then again, I may just wait and save it for... You know what? Don't buy it from me. Let me save it for the Energy Lotto. You know why? Because we do not have enough of these to last us for more than probably two weeks. That's about two weeks worth of PSA cards. The current Lotto, by the way, for those of you... Ooh, we'll wait for more people. To, well, I'll mention it again later. How about that? So this is the current Energy Lotto for the Charizard. All right, so we have a lovely Charizard. And then all these awesome PSA cards are going to be for... The live stream lotto and we haven't gone through them and i think you guys would like to go through them right so you've seen the unified minds dragonite and you've seen the charizard here is a, an alternative art slow poke psyduck this is also a full art pikachu zekrom psa 9 really lovely card i consider nines good good uh, collectible cards because i think that they do appreciate i don't know about sevens and eights though Scyther is a 10. This is from Hidden Fates, and I picked Scyther because I thought he looked really cool. Uh, we have the Unified Minds Full Art Dragonite. This is going to have the correct colors on it. See? So he's not just Rainbow Rare. Thought that looked really nice. Mewtwo and Mew from Unified Minds. This is one of the best pulls in the set. Even when you're considering just the regular Full Art, this is one of the most valuable cards in the set because people like both the Secret Rare and the Full Art version of it. This is Hidden Fates Scyther, right? So this is going to be the Shining. That's why he's the green color rather than the red color. And he just looks fantastic. So he kind of pairs with that Scyther over there because that's also from Hidden Fates. Here is Hidden Fates Guzzlord. I really like the way Guzzlord looks in this case, so I grabbed him. You guys are going to like this one. Garchomp, ooh, excuse me, and Giratina from Unified Minds, PSA 10. Uh, you know, we have a friend of ours. Uh, what is his name? His name's... Is his name Giratina Rayquaza? So we have Girat Giratina Garchomp. Did I say Giratina Rayquaza the first time? Yeah. This is Garchomp and Giratina, and we have a friend, Giratina Rayquaza, and he will probably be interested in this card. Can I trade for the Mewtwo Mew with my Grass Energy? Uh, I would need to know the value of the Mewtwo Mew. So when it comes to PSA-graded cards, they're very liquid. We understand their value much, much easier. So we can just see which one is more valuable, and then we can just be like, uh, yes or no, very quickly. <laughs> And there's the Umbreon PSA 9 from Hibben Fates. Chris says, these are all going into the lotto. Those are all for the lotto. I bought them for the lotto. Uh, the Mewtwo and Mew, maybe not. I'm not 100% sure on the Mewtwo Mew. Actually, it makes sense that Temlet's after the Mewtwo Mew. He likes Mewtwo Mew. Let's take a quick look at that Mewtwo Mew, though. Mewtwo Mew, PSA 10. And he costs... Let's find out. I'm looking it up. Are there none available? I don't think there's any available. What's his number? His number is... Wait, where'd he go? Oh, here he is. He's 222.
All right. And how about PSA? What? There's none of them available. Wow. Oh, no, wait. Here we go. Is that Japanese, though, or is that English? Okay, here's one for $80. And... That's a nine, so that one doesn't count. After 80, it goes up to 100. Hmm, Temlet, I think it would be pretty close. I think Temlet, if I thought about it, I would rather have the Mewtwo Mew than the Leaf Energy in this case. I think the Mewtwo Mew is probably easier to sell than the Leaf Energy, if I had to guess. It's more prolific. Even though the Leaf Energy is, admittedly, is very beautiful. Kind of get this out of the way here. What else did we pull here? We pulled like a Lapras. Oh, right. So this was also in the mail. I pulled another Lapras. Was there anything else? You know what? This T Mega Sableye Tyranitar is also going to be part of the Lotto 2 because we just sent three of those off. Uh, the Electrode, I think, could be in there. I could, I'll be okay because there's plenty of Electrodes on the market, so I'm not too worried about that. These are going to be mine, though. The Umbreon, the Double Lapras. I will sell one of the Laprases, but I'm kind of waiting for the Laprases to go up in value. So... I think that the Laprases are probably undervalued right now. They're from the base set. So if, if you look, they're already from 2017. So these cards are actually already three years old. And I think this is actually a crazy good looking card. Does the other one look cleaner than it? I'm trying to figure it out. No, they look the same. Actually, it is cleaner. There's some differences. Very minuscule. Huh, I'm surprised that they didn't consider that. Huh, interesting. You can kind of see it. See the little splotchies there? And this one doesn't have the splotchies. Very interesting. I wonder if other uh, secret rares have that issue. So these will go into my private pile. That's for me. The Mega Sableye Tyranitar. I'm going to have more of these in the future, so I'm not afraid to trade that guy out in the PSA Lotto. Uh, the Electrode. Uh, again, I'm not really too worried about obtaining another one of him. Uh, the Scyther, I, I think I'm going to hold on to the Mewtwo Mew, actually, believe it or not, Temlet, considering there was not that many of them for sale. Will I? I think we will. Will I? Oh, I'm, I see I'm being too possessive. I'm being too possessive. He'll be in the lotto. Forget about it. He'll be in the lotto. We'll get him eventually. So now you guys have seen all those PSA cards. I hope you're happy with that. Really fun looking at it. Temlet says, no worries. <laughs> How's it going? Okay, Boomer. Okay, Boomer. So currently, again, the Energy Lotto is going to be for this PSA 1 Charizard. And he surprisingly still goes for a lot of money. <laughs> uh, the Energy Lotto had just started. And uh, now we're ready to open cards. <laughs> Do you think my double colorless entertaining will go up in value? Oh, double colorless energy. That's what you meant to say. Do I think it'll go up in value? <sighs> Not as much as other cards will. I think that some cards are more prolific, and this causes the demand for that card to rise faster, whereas Double Colorless Energy is more generic, and so I do not think it will rise in fast as other cards. Uh, you know, if the card becomes 20 years old, yeah, definitely it will rise up in value, but it won't be, like, dramatic. It'll probably go up from, like, who knows, like, 40 to maybe, like, 100. That's what you would see, but it wouldn't go for, like, it wouldn't go from like 100 to like 3,000 or anything like that. <laughs> Gerson says, I still treasure my Naked Misty. That's right. I just sent one of those off. So I will probably see it again four months from now. Temla says, it goes for 150 PSA 10. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a really good card then. Maybe there's just not a lot of them available. Glad to hear that. She says, no, nah, I want to buy toilet paper. <laughs> So how is your day, everyone? How's it going? Let's get these price cards out, by the way. So here are the price cards. And uh, I'll start the stream out. Why not? I should start the stream out every time, I think. I'm going to start out by buying, uh, not buying, some, by opening up some Team Up packs. Uh, I'm pulling from that Team Up box over there. I'm a huge fan of Team Up. I like Team Up because it has the Gengar in it. But also, I like the Pikachu Zekrom quite a lot. I'm a fan of the Pikachu Zekrom. All right, let's see what we got. Three, four, and 
five. PSA 10 toilet paper, that's right. <laughs> I have an ant on my hand. Oh my God. Where did it even come from? It's still sealed, so can't guarantee centering. What? We have Tentacruel, Evelyn, Pupitar, Joltik, Blitzel, Paris, Vullaby, Fiji, Execute, and Beedrill. PSA one bat with Corona, what? Card number two. Three, four. Need a Reno, Fairy Charm, War Turtle, Larvitar, Psyduck, Bullaby, Weedle, Helioptal, Shaman, and Ferrothorn. There's one in Singapore going for 350 right now. What are you talking about? Toilet paper? I'm not talking about toilet paper. Are you talking about the same uh you're not talking about the same card, are you? Double colorless, Charmander, Star You, Litten, Zorua, Weedle, Fairy Charm, and Galvantula. Oh, the double colorless. Well, let me just say this. You can always post a very high price on a card you'd like to sell. Like, he would probably love to sell the card for 350 But if it's sitting on the market, that means nobody's actually agreed to pay that price. And so he has to actually find a buyer as well. See what I'm saying? So just because, it's, just because there's one listed at a ridiculously high price, that really does not mean that that's the value of the card. You have to be careful with that. I would say the value of the card is somewhere between the latest one sold and the cheapest one on the market. That's the real price of a PSA card. Uh, you can you can tell the person who's got the cheapest one uh, on the market that hey, I'd like to pay, I'd like to pay the price that it went for last, and he will probably tell you no. Because <laughs> I've asked before, I've been like, will you sell it at me uh, to me at this price? And he'd be like, nope, because that one's already gone. So we know it's worth more than that. Hello everyone, how's it going? How's it going? Apexing the apocalypse. How is it going, my man? We're here opening up Pokemans. Hope you guys are having a nice evening. I do have some mail, but I'm doing a new thing with the mail where I do not open it up in the stream. First, I open it up in a video now, and then I show it off in the stream later. Template said, are you interested in the double colorless? Uh, I probably am not. I don't think I am. I think what you're going to do there is you're going to offer me the uh, you're going to offer me the leaf energy and the double colorless, uh, but I think that I will save the Mewtwo for the PSA Lotto because I uh, I just I think he will really attract a lot of interest for the PSA Lotto. I've been struggling recently, but but moving forward for now, oh that sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. I am sorry to hear that. Tell it says I want to open PX. What packs do we have, by the way? So. Let me go over this real fast. Sorry to hear you've been struggling. Anything tough happening in particular? We got Unified Minds. We are sold out of Cosmic. We're waiting for more of that to show up. We have a little bit of Sword and Shield left. We have, with the team up, we have... Yep, there's a little bit of team up left, a very small amount. I think we're done with Unbroken Bonds, right? Unbroken Bonds is gone. We do have some Guardians Rising left. Yep, I just checked. And we have a pretty decent amount of Sun and Moon base set left. Then Shining Legends is sold out, and Hidden Fates, we do have some Hidden Fates. So right here. See? So that is what we have. What currency? That is US dollars. I'm sorry. Mary's Polish? Very cool. She says, I want to buy some PX. Cheese, I would didn't you say you wanted to open up some cosmic? I think you said you wanted to open up some cosmic. So we should have more cosmic eclipse soon enough. Actually, I tell you guys what, I'm gonna go check and see if there's any mail on my porch. I'll be right back, okay? I'll be right back. Actually, I tell you what, <laughs> I'm going to do better than that. I'm going to run out and I'm going to grab the mail from my mailbox if I have any. So I'll be right back, guys.
kind of ran out there. Okay, I'm back. Get comfortable here. <laughs> God, there's an ant on the wall. I hate it. Okay, I'm back. Just put this here. Do you have any gold stars? I have one on the way, actually. Yeah, I have a gold star card on the way. Well, let's see. What can we do together, guys? How's it going, King Vanta? He says, good morning. I'll go through this box, maybe. I got a new job, and they weren't really giving me the hours I needed, so I basically begged for more, but now the shop is closed due to corona. Oh, that sucks. TCC says, what have I pulled this week? Okay, let's take a quick look. It's a good time to ask. We're definitely at a slow point in the live stream. What is today? Is today, uh... It's like Wednesday or something, right? Tuesday? Okay, Timlet, so you do have this lovely leaf energy, and I would value this somewhere between $70 and $80. Then we have Bead. So Bead is going to be a full art from Sword and Shield. He looks pretty well centered. He looks like he could pull a 10, so that's a good card. Uh, you won the lotto, so you got this nice little ticket here. What do you think the rarest card is? Uh, probably first edition, shadowless, base set, Charizard, holographic, and uh, the illustrator card, and oh, there's another one I can't remember. Here's a pretty well-centered Mewtwo GX. Looking real good on the back too. So he's looking strong. TCC, let me know if anything catches your eye. I think what you're looking to do is you would like to make a trade for some Pokemon PX. Can you tell me what packs you're looking to trade for? Like, what set are you looking to open up? Three. Ah, your double colorless energy. So that's actually a cool card. He says anything. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think that would be a 10. Let's see. I'm looking at your nice cards. <laughs> I'm eyeballing them. Those are both off center, so those are both nines. This is off center. This is off center. This is off center. This is on center, but it's sewer arc. This is on center, but it's sewer arc. Right shoes on center. Right this right shoes off center. So those cards, these are kind of like your they're they're nice, but they're not like your hard hitting cards, you see what I'm saying? How's it going, Angelina Gachupin? How's it going, Mary? What have you pulled? I will show you in a minute. So, your Mewtwo is decent. It's off-center, but uh, just the fact that it's a full-art Mewtwo. Your Bead is decent. I'll put him over here. I think the Bead's actually pretty decent. And your Mewtwo GX might actually be a 10. So this is decent. You should keep that one. And uh, this one... This one will not pull a 10. So, it's nice, but it's not like crazy valuable. Here's the deal with these. I don't really know what a full art bead is worth. Probably not as much as a rainbow rare bead. He's from a newer set, uh, but I would guess that his value would fall pretty rapidly as the market saturates with them. Double colorless energy. This is from, what is this, like Guardians Rising or something? Oh, actually, you know what? Give me a moment. So you can see... There's a white dot right there, and that will probably cause it to uh, to fail a 10. Actually, I think that's a white dot there, too. Yeah, so you got white dots on your double colorless energy, so that's probably going to be a 9. So your best cards are probably this bead and the secret rare grass energy, uh, which is, again, probably worth around $80, I'd say. I would be open-minded to a trade for the bead, the double colorless energy, and the secret rare grass energy. Those would be the ones that catch my interest the most. Uh, 
I can't say the double colorless energy actually. It's got those dots on it, man. I mean, I can I can accept it, but I can't give you very many packs for it. So that zoom, I know, right? This is this is something I could trade for. It would be very easy to trade for that, but then you would be sad if you didn't get anything nice from your pulls, right? See? So you're safer holding on to it. Every day is the weekend now with COVID-19. <laughs> How's it going, Weekend Wolf? Nobody has won the lotto yet. The lotto this time is for a PSA 1 uh, base set Charizard. What do you think a Solgaleo GX from the Sun and Moon base set would cost? Well, if it was a 10, it would probably be doing all right. Are, are you talking about the full art, this, the Rainbow Rare, or you got to tell me which one you're talking about because I don't have the numbers memorized, obviously. All right, so Mary wants to see this Lily. We have the Lily card. And she also won the Sylveon in the lotto. Very good. All right. Sweet. There we go. Put this back together. How is it going, everyone? How many packs could I get the bead and double colorless? I don't think I'm going to accept the double colorless for the bead. I would give you um, probably one set of five packs, which could end up with you not pulling anything. But I guess the, the flip side is it could end up with you pulling a secret rare. So that's the that's the problem. Uh, nobody really knows what you're going to pull. So you could end up losing your tem or losing your bead. That's the that's the whole issue. And, and that's why I usually recommend people to just uh, to just hold on to it. Bead for shining. Oh, we don't have any... We're out of Shining Legends. Yeah, Shining Legends is sold out. We will have more Shining Legends in the future, though. Yeah, for sure. We will have more in the future. I ordered a, a ton more, I believe. Yeah, I ordered a lot more. Don't believe the government. Coronavirus is for them to change the battery on the birds. <laughs> Tell it says, Bead looks gee, and let's do it five packs of any set. All right, let me pick a set that I think, well, actually there's a couple sets. So I'm going to give you Guardians Rising for them, if that's all right. All right, this is basically from a fresh box. Temlet says, sure. All right, Temlet. The bead's going to go right off to be graded. Anime says, how does the lotto work? So we have these thing called energy cards, and you can buy them for $5 each. They get put into a big drum, and then we have this great part of the live stream where the drum is spun around, and a winner is chosen out of the drum. So these are the energy cards, and the drum is over here. Actually, if you're a new player, you, or not, not a new player, a new person, you've probably never seen my massive trash pile. Huge trash pile over here. I guess you can't see it very well. I'd have to like stand up to show you the size of it. Okay, let's see what Temlet pulls. I don't think he was a fan of that bead. I can understand. I don't think anyone is. <laughs> but then again, that's why I'm concerned about his value as a card. <laughs> that's why I'm a little bit concerned about his value as a card. Just a little bit. Here we go. Good luck on your pulls. You never know. This could be the secret rare in the box. At least it might be another full art. Maybe one that you think is more valuable or better looking. Uh, or maybe it's a GX. Or maybe it's all cold pulls. We're about to find out. Beldum. Trubbish. Delibird. Probo Pass. And Swellow. You know, it's funny, I feel like I can detect when it's a white pack when I'm opening it, opening it also because when packs are filled very tightly with the cards, the white pack set, oh, what's this? That's not the same as the other ones. Oh, it still had the same cards in it. Weird. Look, no, no, uh, huh. That came out of a sealed box, I opened it myself, so weird. Oh, there it goes again. I guess it was just miss, okay. It was just missing one code card, that's all. <laughs> it's missing one code card. Oh, whoa, that's right. Watch Hog, Rock Rough, Machop, Trubbish, Deli Bird, Stuffle, and Holographic. Drampa, you did it! You did it, you picked up the Drampa. Next pack. One, two, three, four. 
Glyscore, Komala, Slowbro, Kamala Harris, Jangma O, Wimpa, Gumi, Wishy Washy, Turdinator, and Sogaleo. Tough pulls, man. Tough pulls. You are going to get a pull. You're going to get a pity pull, though. Let's see what it is. Ah, yes. The Alolan Persian. Pac-Man Persian. So we have our pity pull box, and I just pulled one off the top of the pity pull box. <laughs> Mary says, oh my gosh, you missed my lily. Mary Alice says, is it five for... Yes, that is correct, but that is the... That's going to be the bulkless price, okay? So... Pay, you'll want to pay attention to this. If you want all of your cards, you'll want to do the 5 for 23. If you just want your GXs and full arts, you'll do the 5 for 20, okay? Why does Wishy Washy look depressed? Because he's a beta male! <laughs> you guys ready for me to open a whole box of Rocket cards and just open them right now in the live stream? I just go crazy. She says Mary Alice is after my Marnie. Oh, really? You're after Marnie as well? Good luck. Marnie's a cool pull. Marnie or Marnie. We will be having a lot more Sword and Shield in the future. Also, there's the whole Rebel Clash coming out. I don't know when it comes out, but that'll be fun. So we have more cards to look forward to. You gotta collect every card in the set, guys. Come on. <laughs> That's what the Pokemon card company wants you to do. <laughs> Look at that. Guess who's created like a uh, <laughs> comment with all the... Hi, huh, I wonder if we could do that. I wonder if we could have like a comment that can be posted that has all the prices on it. Guess who says I jot them down. Well, let me find an empty booster box real fast. I'm going to put some bulk to the side. I need an empty booster box. Here, empty booster box. Here it is. There are bots that can do you do that for you. Sounds good. I might have to look into that. All I see is Persian. You gotta buy Pokemon cards like you buy toilet paper. <laughs> God. I was uh I was hearing that the toilet paper companies are not like having their stocks go crazy or anything like that. Oh, let's see what's going on here. Sword and shield, please. Sword and shield, please. That's going to be Mary, and Mary's going after two sets. Let's do it, Mary. Welcome back. All right, so that is going to be five and five. So we have ten. All right. Now we're talking. Can't wait to see what gets pulled here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Sweet. Pack number one. So the Sword and Shield base set still has the Zacian V secret rare. So there is still a good reason to open these. It is a card that I would like to obtain myself. I don't know what it's worth, but I strongly suspect that it is going to hold on to its value and become a collectible, collectible card over time. So the Zamazenta V secret and the Zacian V secret are probably two cards you want to collect from this set. The Marnie card probably is also going to continue to be really popular. Stonjourner Thwacky. Yeah, the Marnie card is probably going to do well. Oh man, another greenback. I don't know about Professor Research. Professor Research, she's like a grandma basically, and I don't think people go crazy for grandmas. No offense, grandmas. I mean, we'll all be grandmas someday. Me, you, everyone. That's going to be Roselia. Oh man, that was five cold packs. Let's see if we get some fire in the next five sets. 
There we go. <laughs> the sixth pack is, of course, a white pack, because that's how it always works, isn't it? Seeking, Wacky, Lucky Egg, Minchino, Sobble, Blipbug, Baltoy, Wooloo, Sobble, and Snorlax VMAX. Full art. Nice. The very first box of these that I opened, I pulled one of these. What a great card. So that's going to be a full art. Really good. Let's check the back of the card. I don't see any whites on the edges or the corners. So very good on the Snorlax. That might be a 10, Mary. Okay, and another white back. Let's see if this is going to be a common or, or you know, like, I'm sorry, a uh, hollow rare or if it's another hit. So we got Mantine, Crushing Hammer, Silicobra, Mancino, Wulpix, Muna, Roselia, Kingler, and Holographic Inteleon. PSA is safer bet. PSA 10 would still be awesome. Yeah. PSA makes the cards, in my opinion, much easier to trade. That's what that's what goes on because you know what you're dealing with for the most part. Creates a standard of trading. Really important. Really important for card collecting to have that. Have a professional tell you what the condition of the card is. Blumberry, Choodle, Blipbug, Rhyhorn, Clobopus, Goldeen, Sinistee, Noctowl, and finally, oh, one more white back. What do we got here? You did good pulling the Snorlax VMAX right off the bat from those five packs. Let's see if we can get one more hit, and that would bring us up two for two for ten, right? Which is the rate you want to hit. Holographic Orangaroo, a little less luck than I would have liked, but you know what? Your hits were actually, your hit, I should say, was actually a good hit. There are so many V cards in a booster box that are not good. This is a decent card. I'm happy for you. Let's go ahead and get your name on a bag. Whoops. Come on now. Mary Alice, nice to have you back. Freaking ants. What is, where do they even come from? I don't even know where they're coming from anymore. There's not a lot of them either. It's just like one straggler will be out here and it's so annoying. So this is going to have to say Mary A on it. Unified Lines PLZ. PLZ. I once had an enormous amount of Unified Minds, and we have since definitely moved through a great deal of them. Put it right there, Mary. Actually, Mary, that was the best pull today. So what we're going to do, I'm doing a new thing where we show off the best pull each time. So for now, your card's going to be displayed. We'll put Mary on the bottom. Leave that on the table, actually. So this card gets to be displayed for now until somebody pulls a card of a greater value. Oops. <laughs> David Pollard. How's it going, David? David, we're going to get you a nice, fresh box of Unified Minds. Nice and fresh. There we go. All right. That's a beautiful thing. Excuse that just a little bit. I didn't know PSA goes over 32 bucks. Oh yeah, it does. It does because uh, there's a. If the card is worth over five hundred dollars, then it goes into an even higher upcharge. Uh, and lucky for me, I haven't really had to grade anything more expensive than that. I, I actually did not calculate how much it would really cost. What I could do, Mary, is, you know, I could, I could send it off for grading and then tell you what the cost was later. And then you will owe me like five million dollars. Three, four. You turn board, Caracosta, Great Potion, Dwebble, Muna, Pikachu, but oof, Cosmog, Normalium Z, and Excadrill. I found it would cost 200 to grade my Lily. Really? I don't think that sounds right. Mary, I'm not sure if that's right. I will have to take a look into that myself. Purloin, Joltik, Dratini, Young Goose, Yanma, Basculin, and Naganadel. GX. All right. Picking up the Naganadel. Oh, another white back. Let's see if there's another hit or if it is another hollow. Fiberell, Tornadus, Jinx, Magmar, Cottony, 
Snora, Tynamo, Metatite, Murkrow. Nice, you picked up two GXs right off the bat. All right, we got Aerodactyl and Naganadel. Let's see what else we got. One, two, three, four. Attack switch, Algium, U turn, execute, Murkrow, Snover, Dratini, Fungus, Axew, and Lucario. Last pack. Time to eat, not eat for a month. Just have ramen noodles, guys. You could do it. Just have some ramen noodles for a while, take a break from living real life, and then you can buy all the Pokebands you want. Did you know, when I was a poor college student, not like I'm wealthy now, I'm still actually pretty poor. When I was a poor college student, one of the main ways we saved money was by not going out to eat. Going out to eat takes all your money, it turns out. So we saved a lot of money. Wait, what price did you pay? Okay, you paid, you paid the bookless price. You save a lot of money staying home and having cabbage and, and uh, chicken thighs. It's a lot of money to be saved that way. Wait a second. Also, let me see something. Uh, I have a stack over here. Let's see if you are in the stack already. David P. Here you are. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> Place this over here. Here we are. Let's put this in the front. Mary Alice has the best pull today. So far. Still in the lead. Your declared value has to in that range. What? Yes. Yes. You you would have to... You'll want to put it in the declared value. They, they say pretty clearly that if the if you put a fake declared value on the card and they know it, they're going to upcharge you anyways, or they're going to send the card home and they're going to charge you for the grading <laughs> without giving you a, a grade on the card. <laughs> so there's you don't want to frick with them, I guess. I don't know. Lily get in the back says on that only ramen and occasional chicken diet. Nice. Twitch here. How's it going, man? He says, "Hey TCC, I've been pr eating pretty normally. Nothing has really required me to do otherwise." Very good, man. Ramen noodles all day every day. Who doesn't want the ramen? <laughs> Weekend Wolf says, "If is so if even is a 9, you'd be fine. Okay, I'd say it's a good value." Yeah, I think the 9 would be all right. Um I think you're talking about I I'm not sure what you're talking about actually. Woo. Let's go ahead and grab this. All right. Get back to putting this book together. I eat spam instead. Too much cleaning for ramen. Ew, spam. Oh, dude, spam's really unhealthy. <laughs> do the old promo cards have any value? Yes, they do, Gerson. The old promo cards are valuable. They're not quite as valuable because you didn't have to pull them out of a set. And I also think they're not as well known by the general population, but they do have value, especially if you can get a good grade on them. So if you have an old promo card and it is basically perfect, you may have a hot card sitting in your hands. I bought some new garbage pail kids boosters. <laughs> oh my God. Who wouldn't want her as a 10? What? All right, flip this over here. Just stacking these cards in. Too many, I think. Yay. <laughs> I got all these bolt cards. They're just kind of stacking up. Another, another empty box? Yes, I do. Make sure we can grab this real fast. Woo, slow day, huh, guys? I think I've wiped you guys out. I think I have. I think I have wiped you guys out. Are there a lot of lottos left? I would say yes, there is. We started yesterday and not many of the tickets sold right off the bat like they normally do. And uh, we'll have to see if that changes. I mean, it will eventually, it doesn't really matter. We had one lotto that lasted like four live streams. I think the interest was lower in it, I'm not sure.
you know, people need a break, I think, from buying too many cards. Even I take breaks. I haven't looked at my cards since I was 14. I'm 30 now. Oh, so we're roughly the same age. And, uh, you know, what you're going to learn is that some of the cards you have might be kind of valuable. Put this over here. Some people still collect cards, man. No problem. What cards do you have, Gerson? Do you remember? Like, what set? Do you remember what set you have? I'll leave a, my comment, my thoughts on it. If you're 30, then you were definitely around for the Rocket set, right? Yeah, you would have been slightly... Mostly Japanese! Whoops. The Japanese cards aren't doing the best. I, I've analyzed them. They're nice, uh, and some of them do go for uh, quite a bit, but they're not as nice as the English ones. The English ones do better. Rocket and Fossil. Gerson, you and Sora would have something in common with that. Uh, that is the, those are the sets a lot of people remember. Rocket and Fossil. So you would enjoy looking at this. Let's show him, let's show him my Rocket set. This would be fun. Stream's a little slow now anyways. We have time for this. A lot of old trainers. Oh no. Are you ready for this? Here we go. Time to show off. Okay. So here's Dark Slowbro from the Rocket Set. And these are all going to be first edition. Oh, I didn't put a price on them. I should. Here's Dark Duck Trio. Here's Dark Hypno. Dark Vile Plume. Sorry, Snorlax. Scooting you aside a little bit. Here we have Dark Golbat. Dark Arbok. Here's that old Dark Weezing. <laughs> you know, when I got back into collecting these, he really was not doing well. Look, $71. Uh, that's that's what it was back then. And now the most recent thing I put down was 200 So he might have shifted to a more reasonable price. Here comes Team Rocket. Rocket's Sneak Attack. I'm going to save the best ones for last, okay? Place these to the side. There we are. And these are a little more expensive anyways. So this is Dark Gyarados. Dark Alakazam. That's holographic. It's hard to tell because he's so... The background is like black. Uh, second Dark Alakazam. Let me put that into my secondary pile. That shouldn't be in there. Okay, so... Now for the cool cards. There are some really valuable cards in this set. I don't have the Rainbow Energy. I've thought about buying it, but you know, there's so many cards to buy. And I don't really know if Rainbow Energy is gonna, going to experience much appreciation. So I did not buy it. Uh, we have Dark Raichu. So PSA 10 Dark Raichu. And he is going for... It says here, his most recent pricing was around $750. Okay, So this PSA 10 version of the first edition card... So it has to be basically a flawless card. Here's Dark Dragonite, also PSA 10, first edition. And he is currently going for about $1,000. Dark Blastoise, which is considerably rarer than the Charizard. So there's 209 of these. PSA 10, first edition, hollow dark Blastoises. And the last price I, I wrote down was 2.6. Now that might have gone up or it might have gone down. Okay, so it might have shifted a little bit. That's how it works. Sometimes the prices fluctuate. That's okay if it falls down for a while because it's all about supply and demand, right? Here's Dark Charizard. So this is the card people are really going to get excited for, I think. And the price of it is still pretty high. So this one, it says that I was waiting for the price to move to 2.5 thousand, but it says that the most recent pricing was 1,400, which sounds about right. 
And then the PSA population of the tens is going to be just shy of 400. That says 399. That will likely go up over time, but not by much. You know, it might reach 450 one day, but I, I think that it will be hard for it to reach 450. And then I don't think it will go much above that. And then finally, my favorite card from the whole set, I was so lucky, is my favorite card. And it happened to be one of the rarest cards in the entire set. I guess you could say it is the rarest card if you're not counting the, the Error Dragonite, which I don't because I don't care about it, is the Magneton. So the first edition Magneton is really hard to get a 10 on because there's always print lines in the hollow. Uh, so there's only 46 of these guys. And his last price was like $4,600. So, you know, $4,000 range. And that's the Dark Magneton. Big fan of the Dark Magneton. It's so great. It's like he's one of my favorite Pokemon. And the Rocket set is like my favorite set. And he happens to be extremely rare in that set. So it all worked out. <laughs> so there we go. That is a uh, nearly complete a rare uh, Rocket set. The card I'm missing is the Rainbow Energy. And I've thought about going out and buying it. But I've been feeling, I've been feeling more and more like... Mostly collectors buy the trainers to complete a set, but the cards that appreciate in value, I suspect, are the ones that actually feature Pokemon on the front. So I could buy $2,000 of a Rainbow Energy, or I could buy another Dark Blastoise. And when I was analyzing it and looking at how the prices have shifted, I decided to go with the Dark Blastoise, which is why I have this secondary pile. We got another Dark Golbat, another Dark Gyarados. We have some spare Dragonites, it's true, and we have another Dark Blastoise. It was the first PSA 10 I got from you. Oh, nice. So this Dark Blastoise, I actually have two of them now. And I expect the price on the Dark Blastoise to continue to shift up pretty dramatically as people realize how, how much rarer he is than the Dark Charizard. So literally twice as many Dark Charizards at, as there are Dark Blastoises. The prices here should be much different, much more different, in my opinion. So the prices that we see, let's see. So this is 1400 and 1,000, uh, I think that says 1,300, but look at the difference in the population. 210 of these versus 400. Now, if this was the same population between these and the Charizard went for more, that would make a lot of sense to me. But considering there's literally like 200 less of the, is it 200? Yeah, 200 less of the Dark Blastoises, you should see a much larger price differentiation between them. And I think that this will occur over time. You will see a sort of a rift between their prices as more collectors come into the market and try to obtain the Dark Blastoises and realize there aren't enough to go around. Gerson says, I see the price on Shiny Venusaur, number three all over the place. Shiny Venusaur. Oh, do you have the promo Venusaur? Is that what you're saying? Sounds like uh, it sounds like you're brand new to collecting. Uh, you know, like professional collecting. Maybe that's the right word. <laughs> so if you have the promo uh, Venusaur, you will see in this corner right here. You will see. Uh, wait, is it in the corner? I think it's in the corner. You should see. Oh, it's on this side. You should see on this side a black star, and they're actually called black star promos. So if you look at your Venusaur card, you should be able to see right in this corner a black star. What does Black Star mean? Okay, Grisson says it's on the bottom right. Okay, you're, you're probably right. I'm sorry. So it would be, a, that's a Black Star promo. And if it's a Venusaur, uh, it can be worth a lot if you get a perfect grade on it. So PSA is a card grading company. They're professionally, uh, they're publicly traded too. They're a professional company that grades the cards and they assign a grade, which is found right here. In this case, 10 is the best grade you can ob obtain for the card, and it helps people understand that the card is, is flawless. There's nothing wrong with the card. Man, this feels dirty. I should trade this out with a fresh sleeve. Let me trade this out with a fresh sleeve. I wonder if this was the original sleeve we got it in. That is pretty dirty. Oops, looks like we're out of sleeves. Haven't bought packs from you for a long time. Soon let's try it. How? SS Derp, how is it going, man? Buying some packs. Thank you so much. Let's see what you get. We're just happy to have you here, SS Derp. 
It's not all about buying. Sometimes it's just about talking with each other and enjoying the cards. Now, I know somebody recently listed a Dark Magneton for 6000 6, but I think there was one cheaper than that. I think it was in the $3,000 range. That looks better. No, it's not better. Oh, it must be underneath the sleeve. Oh, it's on the case itself, I think. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, it's, on the ca it's underneath the case. I'm so silly. Hold on, let me try wiping it off. So, yeah, there was a Dark Magneton posted for $6,000, and it kind of makes sense, you know? It's somebody's collection, and he's saying, I don't want to give up my Dark Magneton, but if I was to give him up, I would give him up for nothing less than 6000 And I would be happy for that to sell, because what that would do is it would, it would change how we see the price on the Dark Magneton. It would tell people, hey, somebody bought this for 6000 so that roughly, roughly... The value of the card might be six thousand. It's a little more complicated than that, obviously. I'm not saying that if one buyer pays a very ridiculous price for it, that that is the correct price. I don't remember the exact number. I'll just put down four thousand six hundred. Okay, SS Derp bought some cards. He wants Sword and Shield and a ticket. No problem, man. I hope you get a hot pull. Mary has the best pull so far. Can I have a sleeve for my lily? <laughs> uh, your, your, your lily is sleeved. Here, let's get these off the table, in fact. Let's get these off the table. So I'm going to take these top top cards off of the set. The nice ones. I love that the rarity of the Dark Magneton essentially creates another expensive card in this set. That's very cool. There we go. I'm going to put those away. So additionally, you can work on not just rocket cards. You can work on like fossil cards too. You can work on obtaining them again. And that's what's so fun about Pokemon card collecting as an adult. This is like adult card collecting. <laughs> There's actually some money involved. <laughs> you, know, you, you were a kid. You didn't really think too much about it. And everyone was like, man, you got to hold on to your cards. They're going to get so valuable someday. And that's precisely what happened, actually. <laughs> it took... It took some time. It took like 20 years, but that's exactly what happened. Sleeve the magnet case. No, I'm not going to do that. I don't have a sleeve for the magnet case. And a magnet case doesn't need protection. You would just get a new magnet case. The card itself needs protection. One, two, three. Oh, I see what you're saying. Kind of like the way you sleeve a PSA card. But the thing is, Mary, with the with the magnet case, if, if anything happens to it, you just replace the magnet case. With a PSA card, you can't really do that so easily. You would have to reholder it, and that's like expensive, and it takes a long time. So your 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 card's okay. How's it going, Emmanuel? Oh, we also need to get one ticket for Derp. Here you go, Derp. Good luck in the lotto. Where'd my tape go? <laughs> oh, there it is. Emmanuel says, what is the lotto? Great question. The lotto is going to be... I'm sorry, did I leave that hypno on the table? The lotto is going to be a base set Charizard PSA 1. So hold on, this guy's going to go over here real fast. Where'd it go, by the way? weird we just had it oh no did i actually maybe i scooped it up i bet i scooped it up i probably scooped it up with my other rocket cards okay we'll get in a minute let's open up derp's cards he's starting off strong with the white back let's see what's in it rare candy lumberry corvus squire sinistee wooloo shelder Krogunk, silicobra drapion zamazenta v very good if i was going to pull a z card i would want i would want the zamazenta or the zation next pack that's going to be a greenback. By the way, what was that at? Okay, you bought it with the... Uh, you bought it with the... No, you bought it bulkless. Okay, it was bulkless. Because one of the... You also bought the ticket. I gotcha. It's a little confused there. Do 
two, three, four. One Lodo PLZ. One Lodo PLZ, no problem, man. Choodle, Thwacky, and Cinderace. Next we have Double Wrap, Don't Go Raw. Seeking, Hitmonchan, Great Ball, Volpix, Snicket, Ball Toy, Chin Chow, Krabby, Quick Ball, and Poltergeist. Can it be Fairy Energy? Yes, it can. Yes, sir. Lotto the Charizard. Lotto the Charizard. Very good. Holographic Rhyperior. Uh, those are stinky. Uh, you did pick up the Zamazenta. I was hoping, because you pulled like two, I think you pulled like two holo rares, didn't you? I was hoping one of those was going to be like the secret rare or something. It ended up not being the secret rare. Get this pile started off right so it doesn't fall over on us. That's going to be going to SS Derp. Who has a bag right here? Mary holds on to her lead as the best pull today. Put you right here on the table. Shield Doggo is a good pull. I agree. Shield Doggo is really nice. Now, what were we doing? Oh, we're missing the Charizard. Let's go find him. I think I might have accidentally put him into my pile of rocket cards. There he is. <laughs> also, where'd that? Oh, the Hypno's right here. It goes down here. is a huge chunk of wealth in my hand though it's very cool to kind of hold it you know it's like holding on to a gold coin or a silver coin uh is is very physical you know <laughs> it's a good feeling actually i don't know if you guys remember this but i actually do have some silver coins and i might sell them later if the stock market goes into a recession and the price of silver jumps up remember these cheese you have one too so back then these were like 27 dollars, and i'm hoping that the price of silver kind of jumps if there's a recession so, really nice, actually. Okay, now we were getting some more tickets. Emmanuel would like a ticket. One fire ticket for Emmanuel. It's very shiny. It'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. <laughs> How's it going, Chief Buffalo? go face fire wants a lotto for the charizard all right we're gonna get you one ticket all right good luck face fire is that your first time i think that might have been your first time right Throw this over here. Boop. Cheese was, what are you going after, Cheese? He says, so tell me what you want. For Loto, he's going loco for the Loto. Oh, did somebody tell me to give you a fairy? Oh, no. Somebody asked for fairy, and I didn't actually give it to them. I'm so sorry. I did not actually get fairy energy for you. I failed. <laughs> I'm fired. <laughs> How much is the Charizard worth on eBay? I could be wrong. Yesterday, when I first picked him, somebody told me that he was worth 150 That's what I was told. I have not since then researched it. Uh, he was expensive for me, though. I know that. She's one. She's two. You wouldn't think he's expensive, but people actually collect PSA 1 Charizard so that they can have a collection of PSA 1 through 10 of the base set Charizard. Isn't that crazy? Okay, number one, number two, number three, Oop. and number four. Where's Quip Quip? I bet you she's watching. I bet she's hiding in the other room under the blankies watching.
Does it cost money to be in the Lodo? Aw, uh, Quip's working. I'm sorry, Quip. I'm working bit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oops, come on now. There it goes. All right. Matthias, one lotto. Hey, Mr. One Fire Lotto PLC, Mr. No problem. Hey, Mr. Got any, got any giveaways? I had someone ask me in the Iceborne live stream if I was doing any Iceborne gives away, giveaways, like if I was giving away a free copy of the game. I was like, what? Man, everyone's coming in here asking for free copies of the... Let's get a ticket. I am not made of money. I'm. It's a, the other way around, actually. It's the other way around. I rely on this job to uh, give me a living wage. <laughs> How's it going, Mahasvara? Let's give Mahasvara a bonus ticket for being the guest, best guy ever. Bonus ticket... W WC for wildcard. <laughs> Money is made of you? What? That's right. That's what I meant when I said the opposite. Alright, so I gave away a wild card, which means that the lotto is one card lower as well. Hey, mister! You doing any to toilet paper or hand sanitizer giveaways? Hey, mister! You doing any free bidets? <laughs> Woo! Look at this one pack of Cosmic I have. I've got one pack of Cosmic, and that's it. It's just one lone pack of Cosmic. One lone pack of Cosmic Eclipse. I'm made from star stuff, says Marcelo. Hey, mister, free toilet paper doused with Corona? I need it for the irony. <laughs> doused with Corona? Is Corona time? Dun, 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 Open it for myself. Now I'm opening up Team Up. And we opened up Team Up at the beginning of the live stream, which means I should save some Team Up for the next live stream because we're always going to be back the next day and the next day and the next day. <laughs> Open one cosmic. Speaking of opening up packs, why don't I show off some of the best cards you can pull from the sets? Since Gerson, I think I'm saying his name right. I'm probably saying his name wrong. I'm going to show you some of the more valuable cards you can pull from the modern sets. Because we finished showing off our dark cards. Let's show off some of the better cards you can pull that aren't from the vintage sets. So here we have from Unified Minds, Secret Rare, Mewtwo, and Mew. And what we mean by secret rare, you can see it says secret up here. It means that down here, the number is 242 out of 236. So it claims that there's only 236 cards in the set, but there are actually more than that. The secret rare cards feature this sort of rainbow coloring to them, and they are textured. There's a texture to the card. So this card's valued at, well, it doesn't say on the back, but it's about $150. So if you were to pull that out of a booster pack, you would have... Uh, you might have pulled a $150 value card. It depends on the cost of the grading, and it also depends on whether your card grades a 10. So in the end, it might be closer to more like $100. Here is Mewtwo from Shining Legends. This is a secret rare from Shining Legends, and is also secret. <laughs> so it says 165 there. I think it might have gone up slightly to like 170, but uh, you know, that's not a big enough of a difference for me to care. This is a really cool card. It's also from Shining Legends. This is the Alternative Art Mewtwo, and you can see he's in a test tube. And it looks like he's about 120, so he's pretty nice. From the same set as this uh, Mewtwo, we have this Darkrai from Burning Shadows. Oops, I'm sorry, not holding it high enough. Darkrai from Burning Shadows, and I purchased him because I realized the Burning Shadows cards are really hard to obtain as 10s. So there were none of these available, and I just kind of say I will only sell mine for about $1,000 because I don't want to hold on to him. I'm sorry, I don't want to lose him, especially if in 10 years he's worth a crazy amount of money. Here is Pikachu and Zekrom. Pikachu and Zekrom. This is from the team-up set. I would love to pull one myself 
from that team up box right behind us here. We're right behind these PSA cards. Valued at about $160. Now, if you're real lucky, you pull one of these guys. This is from Unbroken Bonds. I have a lot more Unbroken Bonds on the way, everyone. So I ordered like 12 booster boxes of Unbroken Bonds and he is valued at about $290. Has that value gone up? I bet it's gone up because Unbroken Bonds is like a year old now. So Reshiram Charizard, PSA 10, really beautiful card. Burning, sh oh. Burning Shadows Charizard. This card, I think, will really, really go up in value, especially if people start to hoard them and never want to sell them, which I could totally see happening. So if you hold on to this card for 20 years, I think that the value of the card will be between like $2,000 and $4,000 at least. Really beautiful card, and I don't think many more of them will be pulled because of the cutting error. So I don't think you have to worry about that. Dedenne, one of the most played cards in the Pokemon meta right now. So remember, Pokemon cards aren't just for collecting. They're actually uh, a competitive game. There's tournaments where people can win a lot of money. And this is probably the most played card. And this is going to be the rarest version of him, graded a 10. And he was going for like 250 or something like that. I can't remember. And then from the Sun and Moon era, this is going to be Lunala Solgalia as golden cards. And this one was like 300 and the other one was like 150. What is my guess on Shining Charizard? I think he will also be very expensive. I think the Burning Shadows Charizard will actually be more expensive. Isn't that crazy? So Shining Charizard, people went nuts for him because he's so beautiful. Uh, but I actually think that the Burning Shadows Charizard, who is just about as beautiful, uh, will be considered more valuable because of the cutting error in the Burning Shadows set. So I think <laughs> we'll all be dead. That's right. That's correct. Everyone, everyone has to go someday. That's why you got to have a little bit of fun while you're still alive. A little bit of fun. Be sure you're taking care of your kids and giving them a retirement account and all that stuff. Okay. Face Fire says, big pop. That's right. There is a large pop for the Burning Shadows Secret Charizard. However, if you think about it, in 20 years, I'm still going to be around. You're still going to be around. But all the kids who are playing with the cards today, all the 6-year-olds, all the 10-year-olds, they're going to be 30. So we expect the size of the collector, the number of collectors involved in the uh, in, in collecting Pokemon cards should have basically like doubled or something like that. Probably not doubled, but it will grow. So the demand. All right, we had some sort of huge lag spike there. Can you guys still hear me? Oh, man, we lost like half our audience too. How sad. Cheese says new stream. No, it's not a new stream. I don't know why he said that. How's it going, Guessy Who? Yeah, it is not a new stream. How's it going, Matthias? We are back. <laughs> I do not know what happened there. I just have really terrible internet. It's awesome. <laughs> Cheese says there's a meteor that's going pretty close to Earth in April. Yeah, I heard about that. But it's supposed to miss us. <laughs> How's it going? And we're back. That's right. Guessy Who says, I thought Kawuna got the internet. I know, right? <laughs> uh, here's one more thing I'd like to show. Uh, I got to say, how do I say your name? Is Gerson? Gerson? So I want to show you one more thing that you might find interesting. So these are cards that we have pulled, and we're going to send them off to PSA to be graded. Okay. I'll just grab a few of them out of the pile. So all these cards can be graded to come back looking like this card. See? Keldeo, Snorlax, he's looking pretty happy. The Birds, Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno. So what happens is you open up booster packs, and you put them aside if you get a really nice card, and then you ship them off to the grading company, PSA. And then they assign a grade to your card, and they, it charges, you know, it costs money to have your card graded. And then your card comes back, and you can say, hey, this card is a flawless card, so it's worth more money. So that's kind of how it works now. Good old Southern Islands. I saw Mahasavara collecting Southern Islands. You made me a little jelly, man. So I got to send those off. Let's see what else. Got a lot of cards going out. You said you had old Japanese cards. Here's some old Japanese Rocket. Muck, Magikarp, Dragonair. 
So these will be sent off. I bought Southern Island because of Mazwara. He says, I've been collecting Southern Island. I like Southern Island. I, I'm worried that it's not a set that everyone will remember, but I do like it. It's really nice. The Mew is going to be a pain to get. <laughs> All right, quick, everyone. Buy the Mew. <laughs> buy the Mew, everyone. Make the price shoot right up. <laughs> I was thinking of working on the uh, Fossil Collection or maybe the Jungle Collection next. I don't know. <laughs> Dirt, more packs. What? Maybe Quip needs to open packs for a while. Do you need to host the live stream? Hmm. You're too tired? No, you're too tired. You've been working all day. You just relax. I could open up like one pack. <laughs> <laughs> she just want to open up one pack. Good luck spending 2.5K on the only 10 on eBay. So what you're saying is I should definitely go buy it. Let me go look at it. Let me go look at it, Mahasvara. Let me go look at it. Southern Island Mew PSA 10. Good job, Mahasvara. He's going to go buy it now. Are you sure it's available? I don't see one. Let me try highest first for the price. It might have already sold, man. I don't see one. Let's try it ended recently. I don't think he's available. I'm not seeing one. Tens were too expensive. How many lottos less left? Asks Emmanuel. There are lottos left. Uh, let me jump back to the stream. I was looking for him. I didn't see him. Man. I did not see him. There's probably quite a few left because when I started the energy lotto, not a lot of the energy energy is actually sold. And then uh, I ended the stream from last time. So this is how many is left. It's not too many actually, surprisingly. Oh man, I got back pain starting. Because I've been sitting forever. Mahasvar says it might have been taken down. Yeah, it might have been taken down. Oh, don't have room for this. It's like the nine then, none on eBay. That sucks. <laughs> well, just be patient because people, you know, they, people sell their cards sometimes. Not all the time. Patterns. Patterns has been biding his time, waiting for JC and DL to, to step out of the way so that he can come and snipe all the best lottos. Good luck, Patterns. Oops, looks kind of funny. <laughs> you hear that kitty? <laughs> JC and DL. JC and DL love the lotto, and they really keep it moving really fast, really. Uh, and they win a lot, too, because they buy so many of the tickets. Cheese says I never win the lotto. What are you talking about, Cheese? Cheese, you just said I never win the lotto. You just won the last lotto. Cheese, you won this Dragonite. Give me that Dragonite back. <laughs> I never win the lotto. My booty. <laughs> you just won it. And you pulled Malo. You just won it. He says shred the Dragonite. Look, you just won it. You pulled Malo, and you get a free grading, too. I could literally send this Malo off to be graded for you for free. Full free. Well, not for free. I would be paying for it for you. <laughs> I never win a lot of them. Where did you acquire the mini displays? Uh, they were just on eBay. I don't remember the auction, and I will probably never be able to find it again. 
Uh, I bought a bunch of them, though, but not enough to kind of go around. I bought, like, a, a small box of them. It's, like, under my desk somewhere. Mosvar says I'd grade Malo. Yeah, I would, too, actually. But, you know, if he wants to hold on to it until two weeks from now, that's probably smart, too, because maybe he'll find a card he wants to grade even more than Malo. Well, not that it matters. I mean, if you just asked me to trade out cards, I'd do it. How much is that Dragonite worth? Looks amazing. Ooh, I don't know. I do not know his worth. I would bet somewhere in the $80 range, if I had to guess. Probably about 80 Maybe a little more. Just depends on how many are left on the market. Is that a PSA 1? It is. This is a PSA 1 base set Charizard. <laughs> Still very collectible. All right. Template back there. Ooh, Charizard. Shred Dragon, are you freak? Since Grayson's here, I thought I'd show him some other uh, vintage cards. He might enjoy this. We got Snorlax, Kangaskhan, Mewtwo, another Mewtwo, another Mewtwo, Ancient Mew, Dark Steelix, Rocket Returns, Machamp. Everyone who was into cards probably remembers Machamp, because everyone had a Machamp. Everyone and their, their grandma had Machamp. Dark Machamp. We need a PSA Zero Charizard. Erica's Vaplume. Venusaur. Wigglytuff. Magneton. Magneton. Oh, oh, that was somebody subscribing. Magneton. Giovanni's Persian. Hypno from the Fossil Set. See, you had the Fossil Set. You probably recognize this Hypno. That's a hollow Hypno. Smeargle from the Neo Sets. Lieutenant Surge's Magneton. Brock's right on. I traded that Charizard for Giovanni's Gyarados 17 years ago. That's a long time ago. Misty's Tentacruel. Hypno. Jolteon. Electrode. Kabutops. There's a lovely Alakazam. Magneton. A Dark Magneton. <laughs> dark Dugtrio. Dark Hypno. Dark Alakazam. Dark Slowbro. So I got all these vintage cards, and these are just the ones that I have sitting outside of the folder. Oops. And we'll move that right over there. Woo! Well, slow day today, guys. Would I sell the Kabutops? I don't think I will. I'll probably hold on to the Kabutops. Those cards are getting harder for me to, to let go of because their value is moving up enough that they might all just be worth grading. So he is fun to show off. I do not know if I want to sell him. What I might do is keep them in good storage for a long time. And then even much later, even though they're pulling like, let's say a six, I think that the card would still have maybe a value of about $50 graded a six. So at that point, it would make more sense to have graded the card and sold it as a graded card. Metalex says, how much team-up is left? Well, let me count. Ugh. This much. Two sets of team-up are left. If you don't want them, I'll take them. I mean, I love team-up. I, I seriously will take these. What do you guys think? Should I let Metalax have them, or should I open them? They're all for me. Mary says, open them. Split it. The sound of unopened decks. Beautiful, it's so beautiful. Do you like that sound? Listen to this sound. Oh. That's ASMR. Wait, I gotta get the microphone closer to that. Basically, ASMR.
let's get some open packs, guys. Oh, yes. Put that back on my shirt. There we go. Clips onto your shirt, huh? Pretty cool. If Metal, if Metal Axe was asking about the Metal Axe, if you don't want them, I'll open them up. Just let me know. Because I am almost out of team up, and I'm always happy to go after team up. That's concrete ducks. Lottery for me and lottery for cheese. Lottery for me and lottery for cheese. Sounds good. This is going to be. Concrete dicks. And this one will be Das Concrete Baby. Uh, this one is going to be for cheese from Ducks. Very kind of you, Concrete Ducks. Do do do, scoop do. Doop do. Uh, how much was team up? Team up is 23 bulkless, 25 with bulk. And, you know, if you pull the Charizard, I consider that a hit. So, you're covered on that. Consider the Charizard a hit. And we'll throw these in here. Oh, that sound. That takes practice, guys. It doesn't take practice. It's actually pretty easy. I'm just joking. <laughs> Look at that beautiful Charizard. We're actually almost done now. Look at that. Ooh, we got five left, huh? Five left and we decide who wins the Charizard. Bling! Metalax! Team up, let's play a game, you against me, winner. Oh, winner come on. <laughs> I'm not going to play that game with you. Come on, man. We're not going to play that game. The coin toss, when I do have you guys play that, I don't even do five packs. I, I do it one pack at a time. I'd probably pay, I, pro I would probably play one pack with you. I would probably play one pack with you, but not five. You're talking like, you're talking about a serious chunk of money at that point. He's like, why not? <laughs> I wouldn't even feel bad if I stole all the cards from you then. Yeah, that's five. Okay, here we go. Pack number one. What do we get? Is that a lily in a card saver? That is a lily in a magnetic case. Squirtle, Bronzor, Klefki, Amoga, Parasect, and Pangaro. Pack number two. Four. Juicy energy drink for my beautiful K with K with. What? Also, please, my goddess, I beg of you, kiss my lily and bless her with a PSA 10 grading. I want my... Here we go, next pack. <laughs> Two, three, four. What? One lotto, mister. Saul Cruz, how's it going, Saul Cruz? Seems like everyone has an interest in having a chance for that Charizard. Mimic you. Oops, I knocked this camera over. Next pack. What do we get? Ah, there we are. There's a white back. Let's see what we got going on with this white back. Hitmonchan, Pidgey, Magikarp, Execute, Helioptile, Meowth, Aloha Ninetales, and Holographic Zapdos. Well, let's see if this is a white back then. Feels like one. Yes, it is. This is going to be your hit card right here. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Nidoran, Mareep, Pharisee, Charmander, Psyduck, and... Nice, Gengar Mimikyu. I really like this card. All right, so what did you say? You said if I pull a better card, I get your cards. Is that how it works, Metal Axe? Let's see. Let's see who pulls the better cards here, guys. Metal Axe agreed if I pulled the better cards, I would get his Gengar Metal Axe. He says I have 10 of those. I have 10 of them. Time to steal all of Metalax's uh, pokey cards. You ready? 
The Pokey Gods have blessed me with the best RNG, everyone. Trying to knock his camera over, but it's not working. Judge Whistle. So I would have to pull a full art to win. Dangerous dildo. Hitmonlee, Dooblade, Voltorb, Clefki, Mankey, Pidgey, and Muck. Suspicion that that Muck might be worth something. Three, four. We have Dooblade, Weedle, Grimer, Cosmog, and Bronzog. Oh no, <laughs> not pulling anything. <laughs> Joltik, Squirtle, and Golem. I have to pull something in here. Last pack luck, let's see if I have any last pack luck. Water Memory, Mareep. No, Dragonite, I win! Dragonite beats Gengar. <laughs> well, you actually would have won. I'm going to put... <laughs> Not like there's much to win from there. They're just all bulk. Ah, yes. The card dealer always wins. He strikes again. <laughs> ah, well. Here you go, Metal Axe. No stealing Metal Axe's cards from him. I wouldn't have actually taken them either way. We weren't going to play that game. I wanted to pull, like, a full art and then be like, you owe me your cards. But I actually wouldn't have taken them. I'm the only pack master, says Mahasvara. God, I thought I was maybe going to get lucky on the last pack because... Put meta here. I saw a white back pop up on the last pack, and I'm like, oh, God, maybe I'll get a, maybe I'll get a full art here. Can you give the Gengar to cheese? I certainly can. Here we go. Gengar's coming out. Metalax, I'll place your cards right here. And cheese, you're gonna pick up the Gengar. There you go. Ah, gee whiz, thanks, Metalax. <laughs> gee Willikers. <laughs> I will play some Pokey Booster Packs against you guys. We can play a game if you guys want. You guys wanna do a game? So, we need two players, and we're going to call you guys out before you pay. We need a player on the left and a player on the right. <laughs> Jeez. We need two players willing to buy one pack. Ran is in. So, the packs are $3 in this case, and David Pollard is the other player. So, it's going to be Ran Misiel and David Pollard. If you guys will pay $3 each, then we'll start the game. I'll just grab a coin here. Yes, $3 per pack. It's very cheap because uh, to make it nice. You guys are both on the table, right? Yeah, so I've already got combined shipping with you guys. Ran Missy L, Cosmic Eclipse, cough on the cards Cosmic and give me the corona. Eclipse, cough on the cards and give me the corona, Mr. The Game. The only problem, Ran Musiel, is I am sold out of Cosmic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we do not have Cosmic. Uh, oh, there's David Pollard. What else do I have? I have Unified Minds, Guardians Rising, Sun and Moon base set, Sword and Shield base set, And I used to have team up. And that's it. And that's it. So I'm really waiting to be replenished. Okay, I'm 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 very low. And I will have unbroken bond soon. Cosmic is on the way. Uh, more sun and, and more sword and shield is on the way. And uh, I've not ordered more hidden fates, believe it or not. I, I don't know if we'll continue to sell those. They've just gotten really, really expensive. I don't know, I guess I should. I don't like seeing you guys spend your money on something. So expensive, though. That's that's the only problem. Make sure... Oh, kitty, stop. My cat just attacked me. Mary says, 
make sure you ship them big enough to fit in a mailbox. I think you mean small enough to fit in a mailbox. Unified Minds. Unified Minds. And I think what you were doing were three sets with book. Let me grab you some Unified. She wants me to play with her, I can tell. Five. Five. Wait, what'd you say, Ran? Oh, two sets plus the game. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. You are correct. I did my math wrong. Who paid first? Oh, it didn't matter who paid first. Uh, Ran Misiel was first to call, and then David came afterwards. So this is Ran Misiel, and this is David. And Ran Misiel gets heads. Here we go. And that is going to be Tails. Both packs are going to be going to David Pollard. Congratulations, David. Let's see what David pulled. I'm sorry, Ran. <laughs> That's why we restrict the game to just a single pack. And uh, we do that so that you don't really lose too much. We would keep it fun. Let's see what David won. Lotto, Lotto, PLZ. So this pack would have been David's either way. Energy Lotto, Wilmer, Trubbish, Jangmo, O, Wimpod, Gumi, Pancham, and Lycanroc. So David had something to lose. And let's see what... Let's see what Ran Misiel would have gotten. Fletchling, Petalil, Beldum, Vulpix, Gumi, and Vickable. Wow, you both had a GX to lose. Interesting. That doesn't happen very often. Of course, we don't play this game very often. Very nice. David P., king of the GXs. Sweeping all the GXs out here. Oh, by the way, these were bulkless. <laughs> I like doing bulkless. It keeps the shipping fast and easy. So I do bulkless whenever we can. All right. I guess it was, that's not too bad. It's not like you lost a secret rare, right? So Zach, Zax wants the Lotto Lotto, please. We will get you in a minute, Zach. First, let's open up Rand Misiel's packs. You saying please show codes? Hey, mister. You want me to show the codes? Hey, mister. Mister, show codes. Hey, mister. Whoops. Um, hey mister, you got any uh, giveaways? You got any free card giveaways, mister? Just checking. Hey mister, you got any um, show codes, mister? Your channel will grow really fast. All you gotta do is show your codes to me. Promise that your channel will grow so fast. You will have all the all the ten year olds. I'm not gonna hand you the lily. Do you want me to kiss it? Hmm. I say you wait it out. I say I say I think you can make Mary simp harder than that. Oh. Hey mister, free kisses? <laughs> Finion, Grimer, Carablast, Hoot Hoot, and Dragonite. Do give away. Oh, snap. We did actually do booster packs. And then I also gave out a bunch of code cards. So we had a little bit of fun yesterday. So Lazo, Galvantula. Of course, that won't, be a, that won't be a regular thing. But you know, I was feeling good. Uh, we had a lot of great pulls in the last two weeks. I was like, let's uh, just be kind of cool and give some back. Dark City, Fletchling... Pikachu, Hoot Hoot, Scraggy, Lightbard, and Drapion. Hold on. I'm sitting on my foot, and my foot is going numb. Why do I do that? Next pack. Oh, that is also a greenback. They call him Rand Misiel, King of the Greenbacks. We have Yanmega, Jinx, Dragonair, Mariani, Fomantis, Ryolu, Purloin, Joltik, Hoopa, and Medicam. He says, curse scroll win. All right, here we are. We are. We're into the next set of five. Let's see what happens. Crazy. <laughs> Mary sent a $1.31. Is that enough simping? I think so. 
You think that's enough simping? You are not ready. You are not ready to be an uh, internet celebrity. Dollar thirty, my booty. Can't live off a dollar thirty. You can buy like one burrito with a dollar thirty. Thirty. That's gonna be holographic Uzi. Woo! Here we go. So, Rand Misiel, this is probably the hit that you've been waiting for. Let's see what it is. Hopefully something good. Cross your fingers. If it's just a GX, you're going to be sad. Dratini, Fungus, Hone Edge, Sneasel, Salandit. And it is Espeon and Deoxys. Hey, at least it looks very well-centered. It, in fact, looks very gradable. Good. Last pack. Oh, and the last pack's green. We're going to give you a pity poll. Okay, Rand Misiel? Just because I feel like it. Gullisopod, Talent Flame. Hey, TGC, did you add my lotto into the drum? I, I thought I did. I added Saul Cruz, right, guys? I swear to God, I did. I can't remember now. All right, it looks like your pity pull was Flygon GX. I tell you what, Saul, since it's the... Oh, Gessie says I did. Perfect. Thank you, Gessie Who. The amazing Flygon GX. You're rich. You got all the pity pulls. We need to open up some more Unified. Unified lines PLZ. PLZ. David Pollard picking up that uni Unified Mines. that over there how many tickets left uh there are some tickets left but hold on so that zach is going into the lotto for two i think there's three left that means Dooby doo, scooby dooby doo, dooby doo. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What am I counting? Do you guys even listen to me sometimes? I'm crazy. What am I even counting over here? Oh, we are actually running out of unified minds. Holy cow, man. It is really happening. We're really running out of Unified. Can you believe that? I knew it was going to happen someday. There we go. Good luck, David. Number one, pack number two. What more do I have to buy you? <laughs> well, there's the three booster boxes you still owe. <laughs> Mary dropping that hot dollar thirty for a kiss. <laughs> Mary says simping is hard. Let's put this over here. Buy Quip her favorite food. Talk to her twice a day. Oh my god. Twice a day. <laughs> professional. Professional simpin. One, two. This is going to be Badoof. <laughs> You're so mean. Whoever says simping is easy. Come on, David. Great Potion, Tornadus, Scarepi, Wimpod, Noibat, Sneasel, Bon Sweet, Galisopod, and Honchcrow. Oh, there's a white back. Magneton, Biberel, Dewblade, Hone Edge, Magnemite, Fletchling, Onyx. I'm sorry, I'm not holding these high enough. Holographic Celebi, hitting it hard. Oh, and that's a green back. That sucks. I am sorry, David Pollard. You're going to pick up the pity poll as well. 
What does simp mean? <laughs> How does this man not know? How does this man not know what simping means? What do we got? You just pulled Zorark GX from the pity pile, David. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> the pity pile? Oh, man. The pity pile. There we go. Look at all these energy cards. Basically, I'm energy card rich. Who needs anything else? That's right. Cheese donated a lot of the pity cards. I don't remember who else did. Somebody else donated, I think, a few pity, pity cards, but it was mostly cheese. So we have three energy cards left, and then the lotto begins. The energy lotto. I already gave out a wild card, so it is just the three remaining energies. And then we can start up the next lotto as well. And then we'll wrap up the stream. <laughs> Because apparently we're sold out of everything. We're not sold out of everything. We do have hidden face left. But look how little we have left. And I don't think I'm going to buy more. If I do, I'm not going to buy that much. And uh, you know what? I don't feel like hidden fates are as good of a purchase as they used to be. I think they're kind of oversaturated. Three tickets. What? Mazvar is giving away three tickets? Uh, that one's going to go to Metal X. This one is going to go to Ran Missio. Metal X, Ran Missio. And David P. They were the last three to buy cards. I'm doing that so that I don't have to think about it. Thank you so much. Moss Rare says, The second run of Hibben seems more stingy. I'd agree. All right, we're getting started, everyone. Who's going to obtain the Charizard? Good luck. Guess he should win. <laughs> Is a pretty cool card. All right, you ready for the sound of my people? That's the sound, right? Roughly. Snorlax VMAX going safely off to the side. Ah, oh, doesn't that look nice? That looks nice. That's right, re-time. It is re-time. Time for the rusty swing set noise. Who's going to win? So a lot of hopes and dreams in here, but only one winner. Good luck, guys. Oh, he is almost <laughs> eliminated. Who is this? DL. One of DL's cards are out. That one was almost eliminated, too. Here we go. Picking the winner. I have a totally different perspective. I see it from the front. You guys see it from the side. That's the winner. Oops. All right. Well, I'll stick with the same one. That's the second chance. Okay. Why DL still win somehow? DL's had a lot of luck.
Rand says it's going to be Rand. So first of all, this guy goes back into the drum for the next lotto. It's like a free ticket, basically. Cheese. Cheese goes back in. We've never had a second chance winner who went on to win the whole thing. Uh, but someday it will happen, and you will all be shocked. You will all be like, whoa, what? you got to be really lucky to win that way. All right, and this is not a second chance winner, so let's see what this is. Let's see who won the lotto. I think I know who it is. This is going to be a fairy energy. Are you ready? <laughs> I think I already know who it is, because I'm pretty sure there were only one of those fairy energy cards. Bruh, 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 bruh. Come on, Charizard. Freaking Wolf's like, I didn't have any fairy energies. <laughs> This guy bought the energy card right at the beginning of today's stream. Yep. It's SS Derp. Oh my god. SS Derp. Your lucky day. Whoa. Oof. <laughs> He's like, oof. It just shows you. You can buy one ticket and still have a chance to win. He's like, yes! He's freaking out. He's like dancing. He said you can slip it into my bag. <laughs> yeah, I bet he did. <laughs> I bet he did. So he picked up that Zamazenta earlier and he bought one lotto ticket at the very beginning of the stream and it turned into the Charizard. Congratulations. SS Derp says, wait, what happened? You won! <laughs> You won the Charizard on your one fairy energy. What? Amazing. He picked that up for one energy card because you all paid for it for him. <laughs> That's how it works, right? Help me simp for quip. Boomer is Derp's brother. I believe so. So now we are ready for a new Lotto. For a new Lotto. Ah, but there's so many PSA cards to choose from. We got Zekrom, Pikachu, Psyduck, Slowpoke, Umbreon, Garchomp, Giratina, Scyther, Guzzlord, Dragonite, Dragonite again, Electrode, Mega Sableye. Oh, man, it's so juicy. We'll just do all of them in one lotto. All of them. We'll do all of them and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll have 12 winners. SS Derp says my brother wanted it so bad and I'm happy. Oh, that's nice to hear, man. <laughs> That's why he was going, yes! <laughs> Nani! Oh, that guard chomp looks pretty good. Should we start with the Dragonite? I might start with this Dragonite. That's a pretty... It's like a disco Dragonite. Garçon says, wait, that Scyther! I know, they're all good. We're going to start with Hidden Fates Scyther. That's what we're doing next. Hidden Fates Scyther GX. That is the next card. Ooh. Ooh. So good. You can taste it. Mmm. So this will be the next lotto, and we will include packs this time. We did not have packs last time. Let's have some of these. Here we are. Let's have some of these beautiful base set booster packs, since nobody buys them. You guys get them in the lotto. Deal with it. I'm forcing you to buy them. <laughs> I'm not, obviously. Uh, you get one free grading. Five booster packs. Hopefully something nice comes out of here and you can set it straight off to be graded. And the PSA 10 Shining Scyther. Alright, so that is the lotto. Good luck everyone. Quick, please 
Miss Mary's Lily Cart, please. I am helping her simp. I am helping her simp. Oh my god. Guys are, st <laughs> are ridiculous. You have to kiss it on screen, though, Care. It can't just be like you smooch it and then put it back on screen. You have to. I have to do anything. You have to visibly. Ki well, he only gave a dollar, so you don't have to do anything. But I'm saying, the only acceptable kiss would be as if you truly kissed it on screen. That would be the only accept. I mean, if they're simping, that's the only acceptable kind of kiss. <laughs> Smiling. All right. All right. Sweet. Cheese is a better simp than Mary. Is he? What makes somebody a good simp? Don't sell your soul for a dollar. Well, that's right. You cannot live off of... How many chicken nuggies is in one dollar? That's not a lot of chicken nuggies. You're too cute. Freaking chicken nuggies everywhere. Five lotto, please. Mary Alice going deep. She wants that hidden fates PSA ten either. I need chicken nuggies in my life, says Weekend and Wolf. That's right. We all need chicken like nuggies. So this is going to be Mary A. Good luck, Mary A. You did well picking up that Snorlax VMAX. I'm happy for you. I think that card will definitely remain collectible. He's uh, you're going to have to have a card that represents the whole Gigamax thing, and he looks pretty pretty decent. Funny to think some of these Sun and Moon cards are already like like three years old. <laughs> like, whoa, we've had Sun and Moon for a while, haven't we? And we will have Sword and Shield for a while now. So we will all be older when the next Pokemon game comes out. Give my Lily to Quip. All right, I'm giving you Lily to Quip. You told me that's what you're doing, so I'm officially doing that. She is now she is now belonging to Quip. She does not belong to Mary. She belongs to Quip now. One. <laughs> Mary, you already said it. You can't just say takesies, backsies. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Rip that one. Can't just say take these backsies right away. <laughs> All right, there we go, Mary. Good luck. I'm talking about Mary Alice, of course. Good luck in the lotto, Mary Alice. We have five minutes left to the stream. If you guys were hoping to open up any more packs tonight, you should do so now or forever hold your Pokemon piece. Hold your Pokemon piece. I'm selling fresh ants. <laughs> Derek is bamboozled. You're getting bamboozled. Hey, Gerson, you're still here, right? There's something I still didn't show you. Here is a sealed vintage booster box of Team Rocket, first edition. You ready to open it? Let's open it right now. <laughs> he goes, WTF. <laughs> that is a sealed booster box of the actual Rocket cards. It's right there. Charizard in here, Blastoise in here. It's right here, man. Wait, I have some more to show you. Don't be shy. Show some more. Oh, this is another one. What? Where did that come from? That's another booster box. Oh no, it's first edition too. 
WTF? Wait a second. That's a third booster box. What am I doing with all these booster boxes? Oops. Wait a second. That's another one. Oh no. What am I doing with all these booster boxes? I thought you'd enjoy seeing that anyways. Place this back up here. Wait, what's this? What's that card? Oh, it's like this bent Ampharos. I think I was trying to unbend it. <laughs> oh well. That's the fourth one is my best one, and I put it on my TV so I can look at it and enjoy it. The others are for investing. So Grayson, basically what happens is people get back into collecting and then they buy a box of that and they open it up for fun. But then you also have YouTubers like me who open up those booster boxes or they split them off and sell them. And the value of the booster boxes has been going up dramatically. You want to see another? There's Jim Challenge and Jim Hero. And here is Jim 2 Japanese and Rocket Japanese. Along with the W40 that I never used. So I got some I got some pricey Pokemans over there. All right, Gerson, I'm sending one to you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, those booster boxes right now they've moved up in price. I think they're about five thousand. I think they're shy of five thousand. I think they're just shy of five thousand now. Let me. I'm gonna go look. You want to know how much they cost? About, what is it, like seven or eight months ago? I, it, the days go by. I think it's closer to eight months now. About eight months ago, those booster boxes were going for about two point four to three thousand dollars. You yes, you can buy a car with those boxes. So, so let's see. We're going to look up Team Rocket booster box on eBay. Unlimited. So the cheapest one right now, it has 24 people watching it, is $4,750. First edition sealed rocket booster box. After that, it moves up to 5000 Moves up to 5000 Yep, so I... I like looking at that because it makes me happy that I made the purchase back back when they were only 2,400. Uh, so I've actually experienced some wealth gain from letting the Pokemon cards appreciate over time. That has actually happened for me, so I'm happy with that. It's bent and feroce. <laughs> I don't think that's going to help it. Dory Man says, this is next level investing. I know, right? Well, you watch the Gym Challenge. This will go up as well. So uh, hold on. Let me show you Gym Challenge for a second. So check this out. This is Blaine's Charizard. And uh, he needs to be reholdered. This is the old, right? But uh, I'll get him reholdered. And here's what's interesting. He has a pop of only 270. That's lower than the Dark Charizard. Back when I bought him, I looked at the cheapest one on eBay and it was $700. And now look at him. $1,500. Uh, that says $1,450. And this one says none available, $2,800. Wow. So let me go look him up. I'm, I'm betting he's probably about $1,500 to $2,000 right now. I'm going to go look him up on eBay. Blaine's Charizard, PSA 10. eBay already knew. Oh, cool, the Japanese one. Is that right? That's a new listing, huh? I don't think I'd end up buying that. Would I? Maybe I would. Well, anyways, so the Blaine's Charizard is going now for 1688 Plus sixty dollars for shipping, so one thousand seven hundred fifty, roughly.
So that is the cheapest blind to charge right now. So here's what's interesting, guys. Is he the correct? Yeah, I know there's like a corrected version or whatever. He's not actually. So uh, this never occurred. That means that the price up here would be 1750. And I'm going to say hold because the card will likely shift to 2000. Very good chance it shifts to 2000. So I'm just going to hold. And again, remember, all the way back then it was only 700. And you telling me soon it's going to be 2000 I mean, that outperforms the market, basically, if you think about it. So I could have taken my cash, and I could have bought stocks with it. Consider this. Seven months ago, I could have bought $700 of stock. I probably would have seen, I don't know, maybe like 15% returns all the way up to this stupid uh, coronavirus crisis. The market crashed. So now I would just be sitting on bad stock, wishing I had money to buy stock with. So... Yeah, it's, it's very interesting. Basically, what I'm saying is the appreciation on this card has outperformed the stock market up to this point, and I think it will continue to do so. I don't think that's true for everything, though. This is the uh, Japanese version of the card. I don't really understand how the Japanese versions are valued quite as much. We actually had people in this... Live stream opening up a ton of the Gem 2 uh, Japanese cards and sending them off for grading. So they will, some people pulled Blaine's Charizard and they will be receiving him back in, I don't know, probably three more months. All right, guys, we're at the hour and 23 minute mark. It is time to wrap the stream up. I got to do the Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood song. It's a beautiful day. No, I'm just kidding. I don't do that. In the neighborhood. Beautiful day for some Pokemon cards. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Won't you be? my neighbor <laughs> and now we shred the lilies <laughs> yes I told Mary that if she never sent to me ever again that I would get her card that doesn't make any sense <laughs> that doesn't make any sense I made it. don't won't you be my neighbor all right guys I'm gonna wrap up the stream thanks for watching I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time